Well, uh, there are about 7,000 different rare diseases. Um, they uh, affect about 6 to 8 percent of global population. That is about 350 million people around the world that are affected by rare diseases. About um, 70 to 80 percent of them are genetically determined and about 70 percent of them affect children. There is no um, unifying uh, definition of rare diseases. In United States, a rare disease is defined as such that affects less than 200,000 people in the country. So Parkinson's disease with about a million or million of half affected people is not a rare disease, but many Parkinson's-like conditions, for example, PSP or multiple system atrophy are or are diseases. Here in Europe, I believe that definition is that uh, rare disease is such that affects less than 50 people per 100,000 of population. So one of those rare diseases is CSF1R related disorder. And I believe you want to talk about this particular one. CSF1R related disorder, also known as ALSP, uh, is a, a, a condition uh, that is caused by mutations in CSF1R gene. Uh, it is indeed very rare. Uh, only about 500 cases uh, have been reported around the, the world, but we believe that it's very much underdiagnosed and probably affects about 10% of adult onset of leukodystrophies. So maybe around 20 to 30,000 people around the world. Now, uh, the disease is um, very bad in the sense that affects the people in the middle age, in uh, mid 40s, with a range plus minus 20 and uh, leads to incapacitation in two to three years and death in about six to seven years. So affects you in the prime life and goes very quickly. And uh, up to now, there were no treatments. So we discovered the cause of this gene um, uh, more, more than a, a decade ago. Uh, and it was not much progress, but over the last decade or so, there are emerging treatments for this condition. And this is uh, very important reassuring. Well, uh, pathology is dominated by two findings. The first one is axonal spheroids, which are dilations of axons uh, and usually filled with neurofilament and pigmented glia. So that's why another name of this disease, AL, ALSP. Um, there is also, uh, radiologically, this, this disorder is uh, characterized by white matter changes and brain atrophy, very characteristic uh, atrophy of corpus callosum and, and CT. In about 50% of cases, one can see um, uh, punctate calcifications in the brain, usually in pericallosal area. So very characteristic pattern called uh, stepping stone appearance uh, of those uh, tiny calcifications. Well, it's diagnosed um, uh, by um, finding the mutation in the gene. So when we discovered that mutation uh, this was actually very important because up to the discovery of the gene in order to make the diagnosis, you would need to do the brain biopsy or wait until the patient demise and do the autopsy. So, um, but uh, after the discovery of a gene, now you could do the uh, genetic testing. Genetic testing is widely available in United States, Europe, other parts of the world. Uh, so it's easy to make the diagnosis. Why is misdiagnosed? Because the patients are present with many clinical features. Uh, they have um, cognitive problems, dementia. They have psychiatric problems like frontotemporal 
uh, dementia. They have motor symptoms like Parkinson's-like conditions. On MRI, they have white matter changes, so they are diagnosed as Alzheimer's disease, uh, as uh, atypical Parkinsonism, uh, as multiple sclerosis. Uh, so many of these patients are misdiagnosed and, and frequently uh, the uh, diagnosis is made lay, late after the window for the treatment uh, is closed.